Today we are going to start our chapter number 6 that is about unitary method. In this chapter we will learn that when we are going to purchase something and we are going to market so how we can find out and how we can calculate the bill. In this picture you can see that uh, this is a lucky store here are the prices of some things that are you can say uh, three jars for rupees 450 three jars for rupees 450 uh, there are pr prices are given of collective thing not a single one thing you can see this is the amount of one by fourth kg turmeric rupees 25 20 so turmeric powder is uh, one fourth is rupees uh, 20 so the price of 10 kg rice is given as 600 rupees and price of 5 kg pulses is given rupees 300 and uh, here is a boy who has purchased something uh, you can see uh, his bill he has purchased five sweet limes five sweet limes three kg of rice seven balls and two candies so now he has to calculate the bill so how can he calculate the bill whether um, the where is the bucket of so here are the sweet limes so rupees 36 per dozen dozen means 12 so the price of 12 lime is 36 so he purchased five sweet limes so how can he find out the uh, price of five sweet limes so uh, the three kg rice the price of rice of 10 kg is given as 600 and here is the, uh, the price of 10 bucks so he only purchased 10 balls, 7 balls. So what would be the price of and is 7 balls. So he also purchased candles. So 2 candles. So the price of candles is the price of 3 jars of candies is Rs. 450. And he purchased only 2 jars. So what's the price of that? Now come for the solution. So this is the total, uh, this is the required bill and then now come to the calculation. Uh, what is the other bill for his own purchase is sweet limes. As we find that um, uh, sweet limes, there was a cost of dozen means 12 lemons that was 36 rupees. So don't know where is that. Cost of 12 sweet limes that is 36. So, cost of one lime. So, what would be the cost here? Cost of 12 lime is given. So, we will divide 36 by 12 like this. So, 12 threes are 36. The cost of one lime required is that, uh, that was required, and we get it that is 3. So, he purchased 5 limes. So, we will multiply it rupee with rupees 3. 5 threes are 15. So, what is the cost of 5 limes? That is rupees 15. Now, the second thing that he purchased that was 3 kg rice. As you know, that the cost of rice of 10 kg is given. Cost of rice for 10 kg is given that was rupees 600 and cost of 1 kg. We will divide it 600 by 10. So it will become like this. It will become rupees 60 and the cost of 3 kg rice we will multiply this 60 by 3 rupees and it is 180 rupees. Now we get the bill of two things and the third thing we purchased bonds. So the price of 10 ball was given to be 300 and the cost of 1 ball we will divide them by 10 because the price of 10 ball was mentioned over here. 
so we'll divide them by this 10 so the cost of one ball is rupees 30 and he purchased seven balls so we will multiply this by this seven so it will become rupees 210 and he purchased candy jars so the cost of three candy jars was rupees 450 and the cost of one jar is 350 divided by this uh, 450 divided by three so the cost of one jar is rupees 150 rupees so he purchased two jars so the cost of two jars is rupees 150 multiplied by two that is rupees 300 so he did his total bill is this plus this one this and plus this 15 so sweet lines rupees 15 and 180 for price 210 for wall and 300 for candy jars and his total bill is 705 rupees you can see in our daily life we use unitary method that is we add we added to find out how much our purchase cost all together we subtracted to check that the shopkeeper have given us the correct change correct amount in return and sometimes we need to multiply and to divide so here we all did all the things that if you are paying him uh, uh, one rupees one thousand so you will subtract the amount rupees that he returned to you that is he deducted the right amount from you so now come for the other question another example that is a factory produces 28 bicycles each week how many bicycles are produced in five days as you know that there are seven days in a week so the number of bicycles produced in seven days they are 28 so how many bicycles produced in one day so we will divide this by this so the number of bicycles purchased in five days four five then it is 20 so how many uh, number of bicycles produced 20 bicycles in five days if a bus covers 168 kilometer in four hours so what distance does it cover in three hours if a bus cover um, so the distance covered in four hours it is 168 kilometers and the distance covered in one hour so we will divide it by four so that is four fours are 16 four twos are eight four to two kilometers distance covered in three hours now we will multiply it by three so this is 126 kilometers and here is the exercise question number one two and three are for your self-assessment and uh, i'll just help you to do the question number four number and that is three bananas at rupees 36 per dozen as you know that dozen means 12 so the price of 12 bananas is 36 and you want to know the price of 3 bananas so what will you do in this statement you have to find 3 bananas at rupees 36 per dozen here the price of 12 bananas is 36 so the price of one is 36 divided by 12 12 threes are 36 and then the price of for how many you want to find the price of three bananas So you can find that like this 3 multiply by this 3 that is price of 3 bananas 9 rupees clear now come for the second part 9 t-shirts at rupees 220 for 2 here the price of 9 t-shirts is given rupees 220 and you have to find the price of 2 t-shirts. You will divide these 220 by 9 and then you will find the price of 2 t-shirts. 23 notebooks at rupees 60. 
you will multiply 260 by 23 notebooks to find the price of one notebook then you will multiply the answer by this three to find the price of other notebooks now come for the word problem exercise i'll just give you the hint and then you have to do the uh, questions with proper format like this a year's rent for a house is rupees 1800 as you know that there are 12 months in a in a year so if the shop family wants to rent the house for seven months only how much rent will they have to pay so how much rent they have to pay first you have to find the rent of one month dividing this amount by 12 and then you will multiply the whole amount by uh, seven to find the rent of one month now come for the second question with 15 liters of petrol in a tank a car, a car covers 270 kilometers what distance can the car cover with only 12 liters so the car covers the distance in 15 liters this kilometer so first you will divide find the, uh, the distance that is covered in one liter how you will divide this 270 by 15 and then you will find the distance covered in one kilometer one liter then you will multiply this one liter by 12 to find the uh, distance covered in the 12 liters the cost of one packet of crispy chips is rupees 10 what is the cost of 20 packets so if the cost of one packet is rupees 10 then the cost of 20 packet will be multiplied by 10 that will be 200 how many packets can be bought for rupees 130 how many packets can, can you find in rupees 130 you will divide them by rupees 10 at a picnic there were 80 sandwiches for 20 children there were 80 sandwiches for 20 children if four children do, do not come how many sandwiches can each child have and uh, there were 80 sandwiches for 20 children first, first of all you will find that um, that how many sandwiches can one child have so you will divide this 80 by 20 you will get the answer for and then you will multiply if four children did not have uh, did not come so there will left only 16 children clear so you will multiply this four by uh, this uh, by uh, four children did not get how many sandwiches can each child have so of course you will divide this 80 again by 16 to know how many sandwiches can each child get a dozen color pens cost rupees 120 a dozen means 12 then how much will 15 such pens cost 12 pens cost rupees 120 first you will find the cost of one pen by dividing this 120 by 12 and then after getting the answer you will multiply that answer by 15 to get the cost of 15 pens a car travels 200 km using 12 20 liters of petrol a car covers 200 km using 20 liters of petrol how many kilometers can it travel in 20 liters of petrol first you will divide this 200 by 20 to get that a car is co a car covers distance in 1 liter then you will multiply the required answer by 10 to know uh, that uh, in 10 kilometers how much distance could be covered 20 pineapples weighs 25 kg how much will 30 pineapples weigh if 20 pineapple k weigh, weighs uh, uh, 25 kg so First, you will find out the weight of one pineapple. You will divide this 25 by 20 to get the weight of uh, one pineapple. If you will get that, you will multiply the weight of one pineapple by 30 pineapples to know about the required weight. Now, come for the other exercise. So in this way, you can complete your whole exercise.